is Katie. Okay, you know how I got my hair dyed a few months ago and then it kind of turned orange and then I got it re-dyed and then like it was okay but then it kind of just turned orange again and it looks like this. Not orange, but like an orange tint. Like it's a warm toned brown something. I don't know what happened to my hair, but regardless, I am finally, and I'm saying finally because I've wanted to get this done for like two months, going to get my hair fixed. I'm in Bozeman right now and I'm actually going to my old roommate. You guys know I used to live in Bozeman, like in an apartment with a roommate. And uh, my old roommate is a hairstylist and a colorist and she does nails and all that kind of stuff in town. And so I'm going to her to get my hair done. Hopefully it'll get fixed today. Really, 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 really pumped. I'm gonna go over there right now. What am I doing? Okay, bye. Hey guys. It is 3.30 and I got in there at 12, so it was three and a half hours later. But my hair is lightened. I'm so, so, so excited because my hair was so dark that it was just gonna take like multiple times going to the salon to actually like really lighten it, you know? And so, yeah, I got my hair lightened. Look, it's a little bit like more neutral toned. And I'm gonna go back one more time in about a month before I leave Montana to get it lightened a little bit more and just a little bit more cool toned, but for now, it's like much more neutral toned and I'm so pumped because my hair was pulling such orange tones and I just like didn't like it. So we just have to keep lightening it and now we're at this. Yay, yay, yay. And she also trimmed it, but like she trimmed it like, like a couple inches, especially like in the front. Like I have these like shorter pieces now to try to get rid of some of those split ends. So my hair's gonna grow longer and be a little healthier. So cool. Yay. Truth is I really don't mind Only got my youth for a minute, no lie Gotta put the youth millennial inside Meaning I might choose a pen in my windpipes Oh yeah, I've been away for too long I miss the bay I'm too fond of Certain ways of the past, part of aging is having to find a road Some time ago, oh nine or so I listened to a loop, I cut and rhyme The notes true, true be superstar might allude too far but I'd like to know hey guys it is a couple days later and I think most of the rest of this video is going to be footage from like several days ago it's like me going through my day bag like my shower bag and my toiletry bag so if you want to see how I pack things and stuff like that then keep watching I Okay, first of all, it's really, really warm out. What I think I'm gonna do next is I've been looking for the last few days for a new toiletry bag because I just feel like I never have one that I like really, really like. And so I've been looking and I can't find one. And I went to like almost like every store that I even can find in Bozeman that even might have a toiletry bag. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is almost just like make my own out of something else. Almost like maybe like get a dry bag and like a hook or something. I don't know yet because I would just order one on Amazon. But when I travel and I order stuff from Amazon, I usually get things shipped to my friends' houses or Amazon has Amazon lockers at like Whole Foods and stuff. But there are no Amazon lockers in Bozeman or anywhere near Bozeman. So can't order one so I'm just gonna figure out what to do but I want to do that today and I want to go through my day bag which is like my gym bag slash my shower bag the stuff that I just keep like my toiletries in and my hair dryer and all that kind of stuff So I want to go through that today I need to just find something that can act as a toiletry bag because I don't want to just always like take out my individual bottles and put them on the floor in the shower because not every public shower has like a shelf or something. I used to have bottles that were attached to a lanyard and then you could just like throw the lanyard around the shower rod. And I had one and I really, really liked it, but then I just like wasn't using the products in it. And honestly, this is gonna sound so dumb, but I did not feel like cleaning it out because I've cleaned those out for those little bottles, like really cleaned them out to put in new products. And it just takes so long that I just was like, oh, I'll just buy new ones. And then I bought a new one, but I got a different brand from Amazon of like the lanyard thing with the little bottles attached, but that brand sucked and that one like it leaked a lot. I always PS have an Amazon recommended list. They are affiliate links. I do make a little bit of a commission off of those purchases if you buy through that link. But in my description of every video, I have those links to like products that I use and that I like from Amazon. So if you wanna go check that out. But anyway, for now, I just have to find something in the meantime, at least some sort of dry bag. Cause even if I do have that lanyard thing, I still want to have a bag to put it in, like a dry bag, waterproof bag to put it in. So I need to find that. I'm going to go do that. And I'm also going to put the air back on. I shut it off cause it's loud. I'm going to put it back on cause I'm sweating. Okay. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. I hope the rain is not bothering you. I'm going to go through my toiletry stuff now, my overnight bag. This is going to be a disaster. 
Okay, so I'm gonna wash these first, so I'm not gonna like put my stuff in them yet. But here are those little travel bottles. So they have these little holes on the top, so I have this like thing with the things and the things and whatever. This is my overnight bag, day bag, gym bag, whatever. It's ginormous and it says day, burger and Mickelson. I don't know, I got it at like TJ Maxx or something and it was like 30 bucks. Okay, my hair dryer, which I really, really like. This is a Conair Mini Pro, love it. Love it, got it at some some like Rite Aid or something for like 16 bucks, but it works great. I have two curling irons. Do I need two curling irons? Probably not. Do I know which one I'm gonna keep? No, absolutely not, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so I also have my hair straightener that I really, really like, the Cortex International, just hair straightener. I think got this at TJ Maxx like forever ago. So I'm definitely keeping that and just for, <laughs> I have like a small barrel and a big barrel. I'm just gonna try them both out one day and uh, see which one I want to keep because I definitely don't need to. Okay, so some of the stuff in here, I have shaving cream, which, well, shaving soap, it doesn't like lather up or anything, but once I'm out of this, I'm probably not gonna buy any other like shaving cream because you can just use conditioner or body wash. This is nice, I just am not gonna need to rebuy it. So the shampoo and conditioner that I'm using right now are, do you guys know that I have issues with my hair? So I got the Matrix Brass Off and then the DP Hue Cool Brunette Conditioner. <sighs> you guys, this, which I got on clearance at TJ Maxx, like TJ Maxx would have been cheaper anyway and then on clearance, but it was sealed. Like the, like the thing had a thing on it. This makes my hair so soft that I can't handle it. And it smells like cologne, which smells like I really like the smell, but yeah, so I love that. All right, so here's the lanyard thing that I, Oh, I don't know if these are gonna be big enough. If not, I'm just gonna buy little carabiners, so that'll be fine. But anyway, this is like a little lanyard to put those things on. This I love with all my heart, even though it's in a glass jar, which is not conducive for traveling. This is Josie Marin Argan Sugar Bomb Body Scrub. I might move this into a little plastic container, but we'll see. I'm just taking everything out and putting it on my lap. That's great. I have two glasses cases in here, which have nothing, they do not belong in there, so they can just stay out. Okay, I have toothpaste but an unopened box when I already have toothpaste in there, so this does not need to be in there either. But I can go in the back with all my other extra products. I have some of these shower sheets that definitely don't need to be in here because if I'm taking this, it means I'm taking a shower. So this should just stay in my car. I have deodorant wipes, same thing. Does not need to be in there. Okay, and then I have two very prickly brushes and one non, like a wet brush kind of thing. It's a tangle, tangle teaser brush. This conditioner is incredible macadamia natural oil deep repair mask. It's just a hair mask, like a, like a deep conditioner. Again, clearance. And I love this. This also makes my hair really, really soft. I have a dry shampoo in here, which I'm going to keep that in here because I don't always wash my hair. I think I'm going to start using this. I think I used it once and I liked it. The Bamboo Smooth Curls Anti-Frizz Curl Defining Cream because my hair naturally is like kind of wavy and I, just think that I might like the idea of wearing it a little bit more curly this summer. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. One Minute Facial by Ren, love that. I'm also using the Ren Atlantic Kelp and Magnesium Anti-Fatigue Body Wash. It's good, I, yeah, I'm using, this is my face wash, but it kind of it came in this. See, this is one of the ones that I was using. This one for some reason wasn't leaking. I don't know. This is the Suki Skincare Foaming Face Wash. It's one of my favorite face washes ever, but I just put it in here. And then the Derma E Deep Pore Acne Scrub is my favorite scrub I've ever used, so I have that. And then I also have another like minute facial. This is a Derma Doctor Physical Chemistry Microdermabrasion Multi Acid Peel. This is like two to three minutes, but it's the same thing. Like a nice peel for your face. And then I always keep Dr. Bronner soap with me. Like I wash my makeup brushes with this. Uh, if there's no soap in a bathroom, if I'm like camping or something, I use this. I, I always keep that with me. I have some extra razors. I have tampons in here. I have a hair thickener. I have all oh, my umbrellas in here. I forgot because I took a shower like the other day and it was raining. I have some extra underwear in here. I have my face cream, which you guys have seen a million times because I'm almost out of it, but I'm not yet. The Bio Retinoid by Ren. I really like Ren stuff. And then I just have some deodorants. My favorite is the Love, Beauty, and Planet. Is that the name of the brand? I'm always confused with how they write down their thing, but this is my favorite deodorant. It's all natural, I love it. Then I have some cleansing wipes. Do I have one sock in here? Are you kidding me? Am I that person now? I have one sock in here. Get out of here. Oh, and then I have my shower cap, which 
It was very expensive, but I like it. Don't remember the brand, and there's nothing on here. Oh no, I lied. It's called Shower Cap. <laughs> I don't know why. Does it like promote sleep? I don't know. Okay, so essentially I had this, right? Like I have this, and the only reason that I don't like it anymore is because I don't like the idea that it's like knitted. Like I want one that's waterproof, and that also if I put something wet in here, it won't leak through. So for now, where is... I'm gonna see if these will connect to here. Oh, they might. Mm. Oh yeah, nope, wait. Yeah, they do. They don't like move around very well, but they do connect. So I'm going to wash these the next time I'm at like a sink where I could wash something in a couple days. So I'm gonna wash those and then I'm going to put my uh, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in these. And then the pink one, since it like hasn't leaked, my face wash already, I'm just gonna use this for my face wash. I'm almost out of this one, but I have a backup of, uh, I think it's a Pacifica face wash, I think. I don't really like that this came in three and I'm gonna have one different, but we'll see if I can get over that. We'll see what happens. Just for now, I think I'm just gonna put them back in here. So I'll have the carabiner thing in here, and then the only extra things in here will be my razor, my face scrub, and then my like one minute facial things. So that's really all that's gonna be in there. And then in here, this is just such like a big bag. And so it's kind of hard to like really find everything. So like I don't need two thermal sprays. Like I don't need the It's a 10 and this one. So I'm just for now just going to use this one. And then maybe what I'll do, since I just hate that it's such like, like a really messy in here, is maybe this will be good for this. Yeah, and just put all my other products in here that I would like to have with me in the shower, but that don't need to be in the actual shower with me. So like my hair products, my face cream. So let's see if this works. Like I'll put my deodorant in here. I'll put the dry shampoo in here. So at least just so it's like extra tampons, just so, so it's more organized when I open this up and I'm not super overwhelmed. Like my extra razor, I'll put my Q-tips. I always lose those anyway my makeup wipes just to have them in there. Even my shower cap can go in there. Yeah, I think this will really help. How many dental flosses do I have? I have three in my overnight bag alone. I don't need three. And then I have one in my glove compartment. All right, I'm feeling a little bit better about this now. Feeling a little bit better. You guys look how organized it is now. Well, you kind of can't really tell, but all my hair tools and stuff are here. And then here's that other bag of like the hair products and stuff. And then this is what's uh, gonna hold the lanyard with all my stuff and then my little facials and my razor and stuff And so it is much less filled much more organized super excited. Hey guys It's a few days later and this video I'm editing it right now and it is the epitome of a disaster It is like the most like confusing disorganized video that I've probably ever made but I still hope that you at least, why does my voice sound so like raspy? I hope that, uh, you know, some of it made sense to you at least, but I wanted to just finish this video by explaining a little bit more about like my shower routine in general. And so one of the things that is a necessity when you're taking a shower at a public anything, like if you're taking a shower at a truck stop, at a campground, in a national park, at a gym, one of the things that is probably the most necessary is shower shoes. I just keep mine down here like I don't keep them in the bag because that's kind of gross literally right here and I just have flip-flops like Calvin Klein flip-flops you can get like old navy flip-flops they are like three dollars and then another thing obviously is a towel and so I have two quick dry towels um here's just one you guys see these all the time because I also use them to hang up over my windows when I sleep but I also have a fancy towel hold on one second let me get it this is just a regular bath towel it is by the brand neutral n-u-t-r-l home and honestly if you don't like these quick dry towels because they're too small or too thin or you feel like they don't really like dry you off whatever and you want to have like a legitimate luxury of just a regular towel this company sent me this towel and i am obsessed with it it is so soft which is like such a weird thing to be obsessed with but i love this towel it's not an affiliate link they did not pay me to talk about this they just sent me the towel but I will have their website linked in my description just in case you want to check out like a regular towel and so those are important but I also don't really keep those in my 
day bag either because if they're wet, you gotta like keep them out to dry. Also, since I did get my hair dyed, and again, this video is all over the place because the, the footage where I was talking to you about my day bag was before I got my hair dyed. But now since my hair is dyed, I'm going to be using some different products. Luckily that like blue shampoo that I showed you is actually like an indigo. And so it does say on there that you can use it for lightened blonde hair. So I'm still gonna continue to use that. So if that shampoo doesn't really work with lightened hair, then I will go get like a brighter purple shampoo. But also when I was at the salon, my stylist, who's like one of my friends, like I used to live with her when I lived here, she recommended this Repair Me Rinse by Kevin Murphy because my hair is so dry. And she said that if I use this for a little while, my hair will be a little bit healthier. Instead of just a conditioner that just like adds product there are repairing treatments and masks that actually like fix your hair and so she said if i use that my hair hopefully will grow a little bit longer and also hold color better i do sometimes switch around products but when i find one that i really really love sometimes i stick with it and so i'll kind of always update you guys if you're curious on products that i use and then yeah still for now my products again this is like days after i recorded that other footage but for now my toiletry bag is still going to be that netted one because that actually has a little spot Spot, almost like a D ring or like a ring that I can connect a carabiner to or I can connect a cord to and so I will be able to actually hang that from the shower rod if it's not too heavy I'll be able to do that so that'll be fine for now and then yeah eventually I'll probably get a dry bag and then hopefully if a dry bag has like a ring on it that I can connect it to the shower rod because I like being able to hang stuff up instead of having it on the floor and yeah that's really gonna be it I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're not already and I hope you guys have a great day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.